Hello, hello. Da, 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 da. That's why I just heard my head. Welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle. Today we're going to talk about this Gemini full moon. Woo! I don't even need to insert sound effects. I am the sound effect. Yeah. Okay. Now that we've sufficiently outed ourselves as weird. Just kidding. You already know. We're going to light some incense, get some snacks. You get the snacks. I'll bring the water and the juice. Just kidding. Where the fuck are my incense sticks? Okay. This was the vibe for today, I felt. Natural choice incense sticks. These are all natural. I'm going to try to get you guys a, a discount gonna partner with them for you damn all right how are you guys feeling with this gemini full moon i personally am a gemini sun and mercury meaning my mercury and sun placement are in gemini and ooh, this full moon is occurring at 17 degrees gemini my mercury is 15 degrees gemini so they're they're having sex right now conjunct love to see it all right let's get this lit Ooh, vibes all right we gotta open the windows a little bit lord god please give me the insight that i need the clarity the protection for this video concerning the gemini full moon what is it that you want to say to your people utilize me as your humble vessel because truly i don't know shit without you i love you thank you all right let's place this over here we'll let that be lit for a bit until i realize that i'm inhaling smoke hey Hot girl shit. Okay. Let's get it started. I want to start this off with the 360 degrees of your star destiny, Zodiac Oracle, Elias Longstale. Also, shout out to the girl who said hi to me at the Wooden Monkey. Love you if you're watching this. <laughs> it was just snotted on myself. All right. Let's get it started. Ain't he? And the bass keeps running, running. Okay, right. like I said before, we're looking at 17 degrees Gemini, a magic coin that has only one side. This describes the energy. Suspended within an atmosphere, a feeling tone of something happening that cannot be, that cannot really be as perceived and yet it is here. And yet here it is. This is Gemini trait is just filling in the words, filling in the words because your mind goes so quickly that it's already done the, the book before you even finish the sentence. Anyways, we are patient and graceful with ourselves. <laughs> yes. I don't like how down this is. Also, Gemini trait. Squirrel brain. Capacity. But can you be a squirrel though? That's very well, actually. Another Gemini trait, having full-blown conversations with nobody but yourself. I'm honestly, this is how I put incense out. I don't recommend to do this. And then sometimes it really hurts and you just, you know, don't do as I say with that. I didn't tell you to do that. So just don't do it. <laughs> okay, don't come for me. Anyways, let's discuss, let's discuss, let's discuss. All ordinary mental projections stop at this point. Something arises that is uncanny. The path becomes one of pursuing this uncanny sensation wherever it leads. The experience that follows is very hard to track in words. A certain essence is alive and moving and leading us through. Yet what we stumble upon is shadow, is everything that essence is not about. Yet we continue our one-pointed pursuit of the essence path 
and at the same time the undersold depths erupt with counter messages with a kind of sabotage and extreme complication that could be drawn in for any purpose there is something about that uncanny atmosphere of something beyond calling us it keeps motivating us to stay with a level of experience that would seem to be crazy making and absurd we hold out before our inner eye the willingness to be shown what is extraordinary and staggering, yet we keep sensing all around us everything except what we seek, long for, and are diving for. This shadow play is confoundingly mysterious and multiple. As naively straight on as our impulse carries us, somehow, somewhere, it becomes anything but that pristine image. Everything fragments. Atoma, atomize, atom, atomizes. It, you know when the words are on, it, la, 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 la. it like starts over here and then it ends over there. So my brain is like, oh, computation problem. Yes, normal. Atomizes. Sure. We stumble on a nightmare. If we can hold steady on the inside of this barrage of chaotic impressions and sensations, we will then break through to the other side. The fruits of our labors will be a calm, sober, clear, and undimmable state of consciousness. We have seen everything, and somehow we have held to our innocence and our longing for what is beyond comprehension. We become the miracle embodier. We allow the mystery to bring us all the way through. And to get there, everything in us that is false must go, no matter what. Yo, that's... First of all, how has it been seven minutes already? Anyways, incredible because as I'm discussing and talking with my friends and seeing what's coming up in them and how their different placements um, manifest, because we all have a different rising. We don't all, some of us have similar rising signs. So the area of your life that a Gemini full moon will be occurring in is gonna be very specific to you. For me, it's in my ninth house. Anywho. But it's been very interesting to notice and see this with my friends that everyone has had a lot of discussions of, okay, I actually feel the void. A void of, my mind was this way and now it's, I feel the void. I feel the lack. I feel the magnetism of the lack. The magnetism pulling me in with whatever I try not to sit with. That void where we want to fill it. We want to fill it with noise, with sex, with people, with projects, with feelings with anything so that we don't sit in the void and have our own pure essence mirrored back to us and everything that we are not as well because sitting in the void makes you realize how much you run and chase and manifest to get away from the void the here the now but the void the here the now is the birthing portal through which everything else can be be created so the question is not what am i missing what am i doing wrong but why am i running away from this sensation of missing it's giving slam poetry y'all <laughs> all right let's look at this let us look at this messy notes messy notes messy notes good life that's the quote okay title is words as worlds swords have been polished did you notice can you tell first off i want to say that the north node destiny point of destiny point of evolution outside of comfort zone area south node regressing already been there already learned that shouldn't be hanging out there anymore all right <laughs> i'm trying to simplify this those points which are the moon's nodes mathematical point of contact within the space celestial fear sphere sphere that is projected from the earth from our point of view is what i mean by that over the last two years has been in sagittarius and gemini sagittarius was the south node gemini was the north node so we were learning and mastering gemini in traits perception thought questioning Think about what's been happening over the world. <laughs> South node was Sag. We were letting go of meanings that don't make fucking sense anymore. Of 
beliefs, huge, huge beliefs of, of higher powers that didn't resonate with us anymore. Philosophies didn't resonate with us anymore. Maybe a place of living didn't resonate with us anymore. Um, Sagittarius rules that international traveling, international places. Yeah. The point here, though, is that with this Gemini full moon that we're having, we are having a reactivation, uh, but no, solidification is the word that's coming through, of those one, two years. What were you thinking then? What do you think now? What is different in your realm of thought? What is different in your, your realm of mastery of said thought and way that you interact with your mind? Because Gemini is, I think. I'm like, anywho. That's kind of what it feels like as well. If I want to describe this energy in an energetic way, in a metaphorical way, in a vision that I'm seeing way is movie slides, like snapshot, 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 snapshot. That was really hard to say of the movie films. Like when I was just going to, it, 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 it feels like next closing chapter, closing chapter, closing chapter, closing chapter in different areas. Thing about Gemini is that it's quick as fuck. It's air. It's mutable air, mutable. There's three different modalities. Why would I pick these three fingers? I don't have the answers for you. Mutable, fixed, and cardinal. Car I should say it the other way. Cardinal, which is the start. Okay, it's when the... Okay, I need to not speak like this. I love myself. Don't you worry. Self-awareness on point. Loving thoughts on fleek. Okay. Please. Sometimes I'm just wondering, like, is somebody watching me? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, What was the point here? Right, so Gemini. Oh, I remember what it is. Thank you, Lord. Can you tell that I have Uranus and Jupiter in my fifth house, Aquarius? If you don't know what that means, you're not going to get it. Which is fine. I love you. Don't worry about it. You can come in the club. You can come in the club with me. I was saying, you can't even stay outside the club. And you can even get in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There you go. But you can come in the club with me. Danielle. Cardinal is the starts of the seasons. We see spring, summer, I almost said fall. What did you do with summer? Your favorite month. Your favorite month. It is not a month, girl. It is longer than a month. Spring, cardinal. We have Aries. And then we have summer starts. Cardinal water, cancer. And then we have fall starts. Cardinal air, Libra. And then we have winter starts. Cardinal earth. That was actually kind of good. <laughs> Capricorn. It's the start, is the beginning, it's the spark. And then we have fixed, comes after that. Y'all didn't even ask for this teaching. This is probably why people click off my videos. Love you. I'm just kidding. I don't even, it doesn't matter because I am here for the people who benefit from this. Fixed is we're, we're ingraining it, we're solidifying it, we're really implanting it. Think about it as like literally putting the plant Think about cardinal as you just dis disguiding. What is that word? Deciding where you want to plant. Like, oh, I'm going there. Get in the car, going there. Fixed, you're planting that. You're tending to it. You're really putting in the work. And then we have mutable comes after that. There's three modalities, four different elements, fire, earth, water, air. And then you go four times three makes the 12 zodiac signs. Boom, that's the lesson. Mutable is change. Okay, so in the months of mutable elements, we are changing directions. We are changing because we fixed it, da da da, we had the plants, and then maybe we're like, wait a second, excuse me, let me pull back. I think I want to go somewhere else now. Or I think I'm done here, I'm going to go here. I think I'm going to change this and this and modify that and that. That is what's happening right now. We are in Sag season. Sagittarius is. Sag season means the sun is in the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. It's not actually in the constellation of Sagittarius. That is sidereal Vedic astrology that actually looks at the true positions of the stars, the constellations. A lot of people will say, oh my goodness, uh, Western tropical astrology isn't real because the sun is not even actually in Sagittarius. Yes, we're not talking about constellations. We're talking about zodiac signs. There's two, that's, those are four. Those are two different things. Very two different things. Okay. I Continuing on, we're in Sagittarius 
season, which it means the sun is in the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is mutable fire. So if you guys have not noticed, probably this month since Sag started, which was the 21st of November, around that time, we're, we're shifting, we're changing. And what does fire represent? It, respe it represents the spirit. Can you guys see how fast I'm speaking? This is a Gemini Mercury and this full moon coming close to two degree orb. That's very tight. To uh, the moon. Anyways, okay, continuing on. But yeah, fire is the spirit, inspiration, sex. Um, not just sex, like one, one aspect of sex, right? That passion, the drive, the luminosity, the brightness, the brightness of spirit. The expression of spirit that's fire signs so fire in a uh, fire in sag so sun and sag mutable is that we're shifting we're changing what, what the spirit is saying oh over here over here now over here now over here now over here change that burn that transmute that we don't need that light a fire under your ass that's pretty much sag sag is us figuring out the meaning we're learning what is the meaning of this okay what is the meaning of this and what is the meaning of this and what is the meaning of this that has no meaning to me i ain't doing that and the beauty about being in Sag is, bitch, it's because it's ruled by Jupiter. You're not worried about that because you're so focused, thanks to the sun being in the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, on your own god goddess evolutionary path. Because you can sense the expansion. It, like, calls to you. It calls to you. It literally, like, it's, like, it's, it, I'm seeing, like, tribal um bonfire and and the celebration and people together the the lightness of sagittarius and jupiter energy is so beautiful so bountiful so expansive um the downside of it because every single thing has a as a spectrum of very i don't want to say positive or negative but um constructive responding to and a deconstructive responding to so think about north node south node basically regressing or no progressing and regret or regressing uh we don't need to go into the dark side of sag right now but basically i want to say that jupiter expands anything it touches so in, in sag season if you're picking up habits that you really shouldn't be doing that should go be it will expand and have a bigger impact than it would on a different season so just watch yourself watch yourself all right watch what you're saying with your words as well i mean we're gonna get into this i said words as worlds what does that mean? Manifestation is speaking something into existence. I've talked about this on my another video. Is she even going to breathe between the words she speaks? <clears throat> I talked about this in my other video. It's like back to 100%. I talked about this in my other video where reading the Bible, I was noticing when, when God, the creator, source, spirit of the universe, okay, the most high, they spoke it, they validated it they maintained it i said it's a three-part thing right but that same shit is happening all the time the more you get polished with your sword your word the better your life is going to be the more integrity you have with every word you speak the pow more power you give the more power you allow to go through you the more creation abilities you allow to flow through you because you have taught your soul you have taught your soul especially in the subconscious realm where it's just the law so i gotta be careful with what you say about yourself because you might be joking consciously subconsciously it takes everything as fact everything is taken as fact put in the put in the um like literally fixed it, it gets fixed like uh like i said planting the trees and then you wait for the mutable season to go why am i thinking like this consciously why is this inner critic here like i said before give that shit a zero tolerance policy any thoughts that are not loving or are against you you do not need to pay them one fucking second of your time because that is not you then we're getting into Aquarian energy, which is uh, the genius. Um, the fact that if you have thoughts that are constantly against you, against you, probably is from you being birthed in a certain generation, society, family upbringing. And you have, I'm giving you permission to control, I'll delete all of them. Say peace out. You are not coming on the bus with me. Okay? Yes. Beautiful. Sword your word, your tongue, utilizing the abilities that you have. <laughs> I need to not. I need to not. Okay. 
I saw a rewind and then sped up because that, that kind of feels like the energy that also was happening was the, the rewind was when Mars went retrograde. Retrograde means something uh, appears to be going backwards in the sky, like literally dead ass, but it's not actually. It's because we all orbit, you know, in different ways and then the Earth kind of gets in front of. So it looks like Mars went backwards, but it's actually just that before we were over here looking at Mars and it was going this way and then we would have passed it in orbit and then it's going, it's, it's not going backwards, but it looks like it from our point of view if we're over here looking instead of this side. I hope that makes sense. But essentially why it makes an impact is because think about how you're like, okay, well, it's not actually going backwards. Yeah, but your perception of it is very different and think about how influential your perception of a situation is upon yourself others the world let that marinate let that marinate why are we talking about perception all of this yada, 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 yada. because gemini is i think it is in order to think what do you have to do first perceive yes good job let's just pretend you got that Woo! gemini is the questions virgo is the listening the analyzing why am I talking about Virgo here? They're both ruled by Mercury, the mind, how we take in information, digest it, and then regurgitate it with our own little style. But also another reason why I'm also saying Virgo here is because, let me get the print off. What in the tarnation? Bro, I printed off, I made sure to print off the chart. But essentially, I don't even need to look at the chart. Honestly, I can just speak. I guess I'm not supposed to look at it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. As she says, as she's still like rambling to find it. But basically, the chart is a Virgo rising. This full moon, this Gemini full moon that's occurring on the 8th is a Virgo rising. The reason why I thought that was funny is because... There is this air of the fuck, and that the fuck is Virgo rising because <laughs> Virgo is analyzer. So, and Virgo is a body, is a body, it is an earth sign, so, but it is a mental earth sign because it's ruled by Mercury, but it's the body, the embodied Mercury. So, it's a lot of like the nervous system and the gut. Uh, the gut brain axis so you can like sense you could just sense like I feel like something's going on I can sense that I'm about to do something or something's coming to me and I'm coming to it but I don't know what the fuck it is but you can sense it so the rewind was that that Martian influence of Aries I didn't say that right the Aries okay Danielle get it together the reason why i want to talk about mars here is that it is the full moon is conjunct mars retrograde by the same degree they're on top of each other they have on sex they hooking up we are yeah we already touched on this and so oh my goodness when things are on top of each other basically they mold into each other they they've been put on the same assignment essentially they're working together they're friends bffs what is this I lose. I mean, I am at a beach. Anyways, just had to check again. So, rewind. As in, we've been looking and having so many memories and conversations and da 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 da. Excuse me. From the past two years, like just in their mind, like kind of what the. And then all of a sudden, there's this boost. And this is what this full moon is. It is the red ribbon. You know, when you run past the cross line, stop. Rewind. When you run past the finish line and they cut the ribbon, I can see the ribbon has been cut. It's falling. You're past. But the past to get past, and to use a different word, but the price to get past that line is that you leave the conversations, the words, i.e. the worlds, the realities that you've created and crafted with your tongue, with your word, with your sword in the past. Remember when we were reading this? Remember when you and I were reading this? And it said, and to get there, everything in us that is false must go no matter what. I didn't read this. I read this first time with you guys because I like to get my own notes without any influence from the outer. I like to just be like, spirit, what's up? But literally, 
Venus and Mercury. Mercury today has gone into Capricorn and then it, Venus is going into Capricorn by the end of this week. So there's really this, I'm and not I'm sick and tired of it because Capricorn isn't necessarily I'm sick and tired of it, but Capricorn is very good at focus, discipline, time management. And I feel like all of us have been in this little school of learning to understand with Mars being in Gemini, which it was unheard of. It is unheard of that Mars is in a sign for so long. It's a seven month transit. So we are really integrating and embodying our understanding of especially to do with um, Mars. So Mars is aggression, um, drive, ambition, motivation, how we do things, the gas we put in ourselves to move. What is the gas you put in your mind to move? Thoughts. How are they doing? How are they working for you? Are they not working? Did it? We've been looking at this for the past two years or so, really loudly questioning. But with this Mercury and Venus going into Capricorn, the noise, the noise, the noise has been cut. The noise is what you must sacrifice to get past that line to go into the next place. And a lot of it has to do with the agreements. He looked like an old teacher that I had. Okay. A lot of it has to do with the agreements, the agreements that you make. Why? Because Gemini is the seventh house of Sagittarius. Seventh house rules the agreements, the contracts, the observable enemies so what is an opposition to you right naturally that's what it's going to be because the first house and the seventh house then they have that natural opposition full moon there needs to be compromise essentially whatever that looks like for you it's always 50 50 so we've learned to understand okay when i think this way when i speak this way we've been shown especially in sagittarius season how it manifests physically emotions have been our teachers with this conjunction to mars <clears throat> heavy emotions darker emotions aggression frustration agitation use this as rocket fuel you get to utilize all of your feelings all of your thoughts all of your behaviors everything that you do every choice that you make is yours to dis to use to use at your disposal so the real question is, can you tell, right? Words as worlds, your sword has been polished. Can you tell? You need to be able to recognize in yourself, when I do this, this happens. When I do this, I feel this. When I think this, I do this. When I talk to this person, I feel this. This is data. Mars retrograde is saying, integrate this shit. Sit with it, embody it. What do you really see based off of the choices that you make, especially in conjunction, in harmony with the decisions that you make from points of heavier emotions, darker emotions, more aggressive, aggressive emotions. Where are you in relation to that void? Are you really becoming friends with it or are you running from it? Are you utilizing your time efficiently or are you just very distracted and not understanding yet, it's okay, that indecision is a decision. That no decision is a decision. A lot of the times we need to, there's no right and wrong here. A lot of the times we figure out what is the right decision by making the wrong choice. Just make the choice. Just make the choice. That's literally the answer. Make the choice, send the thing, say the thing, feel the thing, so you can move on from the thing. Because the doors are so locked, there's no rewind. I kept seeing this, this vision of you're trying to go back. Oh, baby, those doors are chained, locked, closed. There's only forward. There's only forward. There's only forward and there's only now. So do you want to, you know, get in agreement with that? Or do you want to get into agreement with the train that keeps going backwards and then, you know, suffocating you because you can't breathe? <clears throat> Why am I so intense sometimes? But the green light, I kept seeing like us coming over this bridge, over this hill, over this bridge and seeing in the, in the far distance, these street lights, but they're like green. And there's this energy of like, I hope it stays green. But spirit is like, I don't want you to hope that it stays green. I want you to know that it stays green and to know that whatever is meant to happen is going to fucking happen. And that you don't even have to pay attention to it. You can just be here now in your body. Right? Stop. I've been trying to stop saying right. Ooh, baby. All right. Um, let me just do a little look to see. 
Like I really even made an effort to print it off. I'm just surprised that I would, oh no, we found it. Amazing. I'm just gonna remember if the bathrooms were open there or not. I really have to pee. Um, yeah. It's also very interesting because they are ICMC. This is the soul, this is the world. There is... Holy Spirit, what is it from this chart that needs to be spoken right now? The North Node in Taurus and Uranus are still conjunct. Because Uranus is retrograde, but they are in two degrees... So there is this there is this very strong sense of destiny pulling us forward. Destiny pulling us forward that is very connected to the consciousness rising of in the entire humanity with Sedna, which that's what she represents. Uranus is still in a square with Saturn. So there is this... There, we're having these arguments. It feels like arguments within ourselves of uh, wrestling with ideas of if I choose this, if I do this, it will change. Maybe also understand how annoying it is to stay the same. Right? No, Danielle, don't say right. What else is there that you want to say? Lord God, what is it that you want to say to your people? I want to, like, I want to see you choose different. I want, not necessarily different. I want you, yeah, I guess it is different. I want you to choose the new. I want you to choose the new. I want you to choose the new. You have to choose the new. You have to walk forward. You have to walk forward. You have to close the doors. That is what is walking forward is acknowledging and recognizing in your life and in yourself, in your mind, in your body, in your soul, in your spirit, in your friend groups, in your job, whatever it is, however you respond to the world in all of its many facets, being aware of what can no longer be because it is destroying your soul in some shape, form, is the new. There's also that message. This is going to be the final message here. Thank you, spirit. Of misconceptions of thinking that choosing the new is something new comes a lot of the times it is that the old disappears and you have to say no to the old you have to sacrifice it you have to starve it because you hold the keys you open the doors but opening the next door requires the closing of the others first i love you <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around because we're playing where this came from. And happy Gemini new moon. Fuck. Happy Gemini full moon. Choose the new. You have to choose the new. You have to choose the new. One step at a time. Every choice you make. Everything matters. I love you.